Gian Corley. Minister, speaking on Morning Ireland on Thursday last, you conceded that government won't meet its housing targets for this year. You said, let me quote you, in relation to direct social housing building, the target is 9,000. We don't believe at this jun juncture that 9,000 will be met. I take it that you stand over that comment. Your remarks at least shed some reality in contrast to the assertions made by the Taoiseach and the Housing Minister that government is on track and that your housing policies are working. Despite the Taoiseach's repeated refrain that housing is the single biggest social issue facing government, what we see is failure to plan and failure to deliver. You promised 9,000 social homes this year. By the end of June, you had delivered only 1,765. You promised 4,100 affordable homes this year. You have delivered only 925 to date. This means government will miss its social and affordable housing targets for the third year in a row. Targets, by the way, that don't even come close to meeting the level of housing need in our society. You also refused to introduce a ban on rent increases, rents that are crippling tenants, rents that are at record levels and continue to rise. And meanwhile, homelessness is at a historic high. Even with the ban on evictions, it is likely to rise. Child homelessness has increased by a staggering 51% since April 2021. So it beggars belief that any member of government could claim that your housing policies are working. Minister, do you accept that not alone are you missing your targets, but that in fact your entire approach to housing has failed? To make matters worse, we hear that government is €2 billion Euros behind in your annual housing spending and your capital spend. Now, that's not likely to change in the next uh, six weeks. €2 billion Euros sitting there while people watch housing prices go through the roof and know that they have no chance of affording their own home, while young mothers and fathers and their children squeeze into the box rooms of their own parents' homes, while families languish for years and years on council housing waiting lists, people caught up in this never-ending housing crisis will be shocked by this minister and angered. It highlights again that government is incapable of bringing the required urgency to deliver the homes that are needed. And now we see young people vote with their feet when it comes to housing. Right across Ireland, people, young people leaving because they can't put a secure, affordable roof over their heads. So it is now time to deliver. Ara, Cunis is Fager Gawil and Realtis Lashter, the Gaw Villun Uro, Erkachikas Tihiokta, Ilor, Ger came Tihiokta, Nakvakas Riv River. Ger came in a will or nini oga ek fogol natira, igor shans le sail nis fjar aku har lar. Minister, you're in charge of public expenditure. You hold the purse strings. How is sitting on €2 billion Euro for housing, how is that happening when so many people are in desperate and unprecedented housing needs? How can government claim that it's doing everything it can to end the housing crisis while sitting on this huge sum of money, failure to plan, failure to deliver, and minister you, by your own acceptance and admissions, meeting what are, uh, at best, low-level targets? Thank you. Fail, fail, thank fail. You, Deputy. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Deputy. And this government has acknowledged from the very beginning uh, the scale of the challenge that we face as a country in terms of uh, housing and the provision of accommodation for our people, uh, whether it be private housing, uh, public housing, cost rental, affordable purchase. And we have prioritised investment in housing uh, since coming into office in the summer of 2020, um, and that is delivering results. Uh, do we believe that more needs to be done? Uh, absolutely. Uh, the challenge is still immense, uh, but it is a challenge that we will uh, meet 
The overall target by way of housing output of all forms in the current year is 24,600 in the Housing for All strategy. Uh, we are confident that that number uh, will be significantly exceeded. Uh, that will be the highest number of new homes built uh, for a very long time in our country. Uh, you raised specifically the issue of social housing. Uh, the target in the Housing for All plan uh, by way of total additions to the social housing stock in the current year is 10,500. Principally, that is made up of new bills. Uh, and the point that I made uh, in answering a question directly, which I always seek to do, uh, is that we currently estimate we will build about 8,000 new homes, uh, but that will be supplemented by um, uh, purchases of new homes, uh, by leases of new homes, uh, and that will, in our view, bring us close, if not in a position to reach the overall target of 10,500 of social housing additions to the stock uh, in 2022, uh, which is the highest number in this country uh, for a long number of years. Uh, we are tackling the housing challenge uh, using all of the levers at our disposal uh, by, as a government, partnering with local authorities and the approved housing bodies, getting back to delivering public housing at scale. Uh, for the first time in a generation. Uh, that is the right thing to do. And uh, your deputies are uh, welcoming new developments as they're being opened all over the country. Uh, and they're very welcome to do so uh, and to turn up to the launches of the Housing for All schemes all over Ireland. Uh, because thousands of people are being provided with accommodation in our country as a result of the investment that we are making. Uh, in addition, Deputy, we are uh, investing in affordable housing uh, for the first time in well over a decade as a country. Uh, new affordable purchase schemes, which you opposed. We have the Land Development Agency, uh, which is now on site, is delivering homes for our people, uh, both public housing and cost rental homes as well. And again, you oppose the establishment of uh, the Land Development Agency. Uh, we also have the Help to Buy scheme. Uh, which is there to support first-time buyers uh, who are struggling in many instances, we acknowledge, uh, to bridge that gap between the amount that they can borrow uh, and the, the cost of purchasing uh, a new home in Ireland today. There were close to 28,000 new homes built in our country uh, in the 12 months uh, to September of 2022. There were nearly 21,000 house completions alone uh, in the first nine months of this year. This is already exceeding the total for 2021, uh, which was about 20,500, and we are projected to reach over 26,000 uh, new homes by uh, the end of the year. Uh, we acknowledge that there is much work yet to be done. Uh, but we are working very closely with the local authorities, with the approved housing bodies, uh, to deliver new homes across the country. And we also need the private sector to continue to, de to deliver homes for our people. Uh, we will see Part 5 affordable homes uh, come and stream uh, again for the first time in a long time because of the change in the law uh, that Minister O'Brien uh, brought in. So it's challenging for many people to purchase a home. Uh, there are many who are caught in that rental trap. The central bank has made a certain change in terms and the macro potential rules uh, that will assist people in that regard as well. But I want to assure the Irish people uh, that tackling the housing challenge uh, is a top priority for this government. We are providing the investment. It is delivering results. We will double down on that to make more progress for our people. Thank you. Uh, last I noticed that uh, the glee on uh, the government benches as you congratulated yourselves on housing uh, delivery. One of these great uh, moments uh, of launches, uh, the Taoiseach was in attendance, and one of the families who got the keys for their home had been on a social housing waiting list for 14 years. 14 years. That's a generation. That's the time in which people uh, raise their families, 14 years. And as we speak and meet here, uh, today. There are families, as I said to you earlier, who are raising their own children in the box rooms of their parents' homes. There's kids and families in B&Bs and hotels and so on. And, and a sense of desperation uh, everywhere. I asked you about the €2 billion uh, euro that you're sitting in, sitting on. €2 billion euro of uh, an undershoot in terms of capital spent. How in the name of God are you falling 
two billion short on your spend, sitting on two billion euro in circumstances where people are on housing lists for, de for a decade and more, Thank you, living in hotels and B&Bs and desperate with no oh, real well. prospect. That, that, that needs to be explained Stop. by you, Minister. Uh, Minister. Uh, thanks very much, uh, Lasky and Corla. Deputy, there is no €2 billion Euro of capital underspend in housing. Uh, as, you, as you know, it is always the case uh, that the final quarter of the year is uh, the period in which there is the largest delivery. That is when schemes get closed out, that is when accounts get done, that is when drawdown of payments happen. Uh, so there will be no such underspend uh, in relation to housing capital this year. Any underspend, as you know, is subject to a carry forward provision as well, uh, whereby it can be carried forward subject to an overall 10% rule in terms of 10% of the, the ceiling for that vote uh, into the following year. But the truth is, and you don't want to hear it, that all of the schemes that are making a difference uh, for people who want to buy a home in Ireland, whether it be the Help to Buy scheme, uh, the work of the Land Development Agency, uh, the work of Minister O'Brien bringing forward the First Home Shared Equity Scheme, where over 600 eligibility, eligibility certificates have actually been provided at this point in time. You've opposed all of those because you seem to have a calculation in mind that it's in your political self-interest to sustain a housing crisis. On this side of the House, we are focused on doing everything we possibly can to resolve it and to ensure the people who want to purchase a home in Ireland are given direct support by the state to do so.